Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Free Dreams 106 channel. Today, new review of a brand new 3D printer, the Anycubic Cobra 3 V2 Combo. In this video, we will go in depth about its technical specifications and what are the improvements made in this version 2 compared to the predecessor. Of course, uh, I will also show you a whole series of prints that uh, I've made with this machine uh, and will also talk about the pros and cons of this uh, printer, my experience with it so far uh, and most importantly the price. So let's cut the chase and get into it. Let's start as usual with the unboxing. Getting this printer ready was easier than expected. In fact, this machine arrives almost completely assembled. The few things we'll have to do are to assemble the printed and the LCD screen, as well as connecting the Ace Pro if the combo version or installing the spool holder if you have not purchased the multicolor package. In less than 20 minutes, you should be ready for your first print. Also because the manual is very clear. And what was my first print? Uh, the structure for the camera. In fact, one of the upgrades of the second version compared to the first one is the stock camera that allows us to check prints, create time lapses and also take advantage of the artificial intelligence to check out that our prints are going well. It doesn't come assembled, but rather we have to print the frame that is already ready in the USB stick that, to that comes with the machine. So I would recommend this uh, as your first print. Having printed the structure, mounting the camera is really super simple because it's literally a single screw. And uh, after this uh, first print, we can call it a test print, I move on to some other functional models. Specifically, I wanted to print a couple of cute little things for Mother's Day. So I opted for uh, two makeup accessories. The first model is this uh, layered brush holder, let's say, and it's very cute in my opinion. As you can see, I decided to use a gold and pink dual color silk PLA for this uh, print since I had already printed a makeup uh, uh, holder with it, so it would all match. And silks are great filaments for noticing imperfections uh, in a print. And I must say that the surface of this print came out very well. Also, uh, with this material, I've printed this little brush cleaning tool with these floral decorations. And was uh, this was a good print to start understanding how well this machine handles detail. And I must say that these little flowers came out very well. So after this first true warm-up sprint, let's move on to something more complex. I decided to print the comet, which is this big model that you see right there. It was a very good test for tolerances and the printer did pretty well because the only pieces I had to touch up were these uh, uh, wings. In fact, the way they were a tiny bit big at the edges, but that's probably because uh, the print profile uh, needs to be tweaked a bit. Still a very good result in my opinion and this model turned out really well. It was also a good test for self-leveling. In fact, another difference between this version and the previous one is the self-leveling system. I had some problems with the first version because after a few hours the self-leveling wasn't really accurate. On the Cobra 3 V2, on the other hand, they really improved this and I noticed it both on the Comet and on another uh, prints that I will show you later. In fact, even small pieces adhere well. So, you probably have figured out from my previous video, but I really like Lamborghinis. So, I decided to print this Lamborghini Aventador sculpture. 
I really like the result and even though I didn't use for supports for these parts, um, the print came out well. And I also decided to print another similar model of this Porsche 911 and this one is really beautiful. As you can see, these models don't present warping at all, which is often encountered on the first version of the Cobra 3, even on small pieces. I also noticed that the PEI plate looks slightly different from that of the first version, so it's a shinier black, maybe they have just uh, changed it a bit, I'm not sure, but it's well to know. Regional leveling will also soon be available for this machine, meaning we will have the option of having the machine do the leveling before printing only on the area that will be used for this particular model. In this way, we will save a lot of time for print preparation and have a more accurate first layer. Speaking of printing plate, it is not a difference that jumps at you, partly because the printer remains super compact, but the Cobra 3 V2 offers a slightly larger printer volume than the V1. In fact, there is a gain of half a centimeter on both the X and Y axis. This is a change that they were able uh, to do at a uh, software level, so the physical plate is uh, um, the same of the V1. It doesn't seem much of a gain, but uh, in those situations where we need to print something large and we are on a tight budget with the printer, this really makes the difference. Another couple of interesting changes that are more evident are those on the X and Y axis. In particular, the 40 mm Y axis of the first version has been <laughs> improved and um, substituted with the 60 mm Y axis. Also, the X axis design has been improved to um, increase the contact points. So, the printer will have a better stability. On the printer, they also modified the nozzle. I didn't have problems with the uh, first version, but I saw many people that uh, did. So, Anycubic team uh, adopted the same treatment used for the uh, Cobra S1 nozzle on the uh, Cobra 3 V2, improving the contact between the Oten and the nozzle. The prints I've shown you so far are made out of PLA, but this printer allows you to print other materials as well. For example, TPU can be used, although outside the Ace Pro, because uh, uh, mul the multicolor unit is not compatible with the flexible materials. And uh, you can also use PETG. For example, I decided to print this uh, bike phone holder, and obviously PLA would not be suitable, because it would <laughs> melt under the UV rays of the sun. So I opted for PETG. I used the profile that you find on the uh, Anycubic Next slicer and had no problem at all. Uh, the print came out really well and the surface is nice and smooth. Included on uh, Anycubic Next slicer you will find different profiles for different materials. There are in fact uh, uh, different types of PLA, PETG, TPU, ABS and ASA. These uh, uh, two ones are more technical materials uh, that are more complicated to print on an open machine compared to an enclosed one like the Anycubic Cobra S1, but small and medium pieces are doable, especially in spring and summer. Another print I've made is the uh, Star Blazer, another Cantu model, and as you can see it has a lot of details. It didn't come out bad overall, uh, the only flaw is a flaw that I found both on the first version of the Cobra 3, on the Cobra 3 Max and on the Cobra 3 V2, which is the cooling that is not super powerful, so bridges and overhangs uh, don't come out perfectly. Here you can see it especially in the details that were supposed to be supported but mm, didn't cool fast enough and therefore have defects. I have of course made other prints with this machine, 
For example, I had some fun with the multicolors, uh, creating some colored lithophanes that I want to use for a, a Japan themed lamp. And um, we talk about colored lithophanes in a previous video that I encourage you to check out. I'll leave the link somewhere there uh, for you. As you can see, these, printer, these prints come out very well and the Ace Pro did a great job with these little things. Also with the other multicolor prints that I showed you earlier. I've already uh, talked about the Ace Pro in other videos and uh, I really I like Anycubic's uh, multicolor unit. And the one on the Cobra 3 V2 is different from the V1 because it has a um, different color handle, but I don't know actually if they've changed anything mechanically as well. However, it is very easy to use and you can also use it to dry filaments. You can also connect two Ace Pros at the same time to the same machine to print up to eight colors. In fact, on the Anycubic website, you can find the Cobra 3 V2 8 colors combo package that includes both the printer, the two Ace Pros and the eight color module that was not available when the V1 came out. The Cobra 3 V2 is an easy printer to use and I would also recommend it to those who want to get into this world of 3D printing. In fact, Anycubics makes it very easy to start with this hobby because of the profiles already on the slicer, the auto-leveling and auto-z offset, and as well as the AI functions. In short, it's suitable for those who want to try their hand and this technology for their first time. But I know what you're waiting for. The price. How much does this printer costs. The Super Early Bird price is $379, with the multicolor unit included. The Cobra 3 Combo version 1 now costs uh, $363, so I would say it's a very good deal on the V2 at this price. Then, of course, uh, uh, the cost will slightly raise, as you can see from the screenshot, but if you can get it before the end of May, in my opinion, it's really affordable. In June, the final uh, cost will settle at $449, and in my opinion, anyway, the printer is worth it with all the features it offers. It's the right value for money. Uh, of course, I will leave all the links below in the description in case you are interested. But uh, are these upgrades worth it? Is there that much difference? So, uh, they are not extreme modifications, let's say. However, considering the prices, uh, I would recommend version 2 much more. The self-leveling is precise and it's really important because it will allow us to have no more problem with the vision. The ability uh, to do leveling, uh, regional leveling is, in my opinion, is great, especially if you are doing uh, uh, projects with multiple parts because the minutes saved adds up pretty quickly. So, especially for more experienced uh, people working with this printer, it's very useful. It's also super beneficial how they have improved the X and Y axis design, particularly for people who want to go fast. And let's face it, we all want to print fast. But uh, even more important, in my opinion, is the improvement that uh, they've made on the nozzle. Mm, because, especially for a less experienced user, um, it's really annoying when you encounter uh, this type of problem. And when it happens, when you are approaching the world of the 3D printing and you encounter a clog or, le or leakage, it can really fr be frustrating. I also particularly appreciate the included camera. I installed it on all my printers, so I need it for YouTube uh, and uh, however it is not necessary, it's really convenient and it allows us to use the AI function as I've told you before. 
These uh, functions can be very convenient for those who are just learning to print and maybe are not familiar with all the things you have to do for uh, a great print experience. So for those who are just starting out, uh, having a AI watching your prints is really convenient. So what do you think on this Cobra 3 V2 combo? Let me know below in the comments and if you have any questions about this machine, please feel free to write it to me. In the meantime, if you like this video, you might also be interested in this one.